there's really been tremendous progress in developing a blood test for Alzheimer's disease over the last several years. And uh, last year, we published a paper showing that uh, the ratio of A beta 42 to 40 in the plasma is highly concordant with amyloid PET status. And we have done some additional analyses since then uh, using an optimized version of the assay that requires less plasma and is more amenable to um, being run on clinical samples. For example, we've been automating the assay so that we can increase the number of samples that are run. Um, and so far, we've been able to get uh, quite good results with the assay, um, especially after we consider something called ApoE Epsilon 4 genotype, um, that the concordance of the assay, uh, when you take that into account, is 0 0.90 with amyloid PET. So that's, that's quite good. Um, and then um, we have additionally been looking at plasma phosphotau isoforms. Um, and uh, there's been a number of groups that have uh, been looking at plasma tau uh, isoforms over, over the last couple of years. Um, and uh, I think a real value of the uh, plasma tau isoforms, especially 181 and 217, is that they are not only highly concordant with amyloid PET, but they also uh, seem to be predictive of, of how se the, the severity of dementia. Um, so in other words, a low level um, uh, tends to occur in people who are normal. It gets higher in people who have brain amyloidosis um, and no symptoms, but then it's even higher in people with brain amyloidosis and dementia. So it, uh, un unlike plasma A beta 42 to 40, seems to distinguish pretty well who has dementia symptoms and who does not. Um, so I think that that could be uh, very helpful for research and uh, clinical settings, uh, for clinical diagnostics. So um, I think we're all excited about uh, PTAU. Um, and then, uh, of course, we're interested in combining them both together and seeing if uh, there's any benefit to doing that. Um, in terms of the methods, uh, most of the other groups are using uh, amino assay methods. Um, and we are instead uh, doing something called immuno precipitation mass spectrometry. And uh, it's a, a more technically demanding method, but the advantage is we can see not just one uh, p tau isoform, but all p tau isoforms. We can really characterize tau very well. And we think there may be value to uh, looking at multiple tau isoforms uh, simultaneously. And so that's really uh, the benefit of our particular method as compared to some other groups.